Alrighty, what's going on everybody? My name is Blitzwing and of course, welcome back to LEGO Batman 100% Walk Through. And today, by the way, uh, some people pointed out, why does it sound always like uh, there are fart noises at the beginning of the videos? That's because uh, the way that I have to sit for to reach the microphone, no, I don't have to fart constantly to keep my balance, but <laughs> even though that would be pretty funny. Uh, but uh, just that my chair is kind of squeaky, I, I don't know, maybe I need to oil it or something like that, but uh, yeah, it's always my computer chair. But nonetheless, I just wanted to address that controversy, even though it's not really a con uh, controversy at all. But nonetheless, uh, today we continue the Power Crazed Penguin missions and we move on to mission number three, which is, oh sorry, mission number two actually, Bat Boat Battle, where we still need six more mini kits and a red power brick. Uh, this is also one of those uh, missions that I am fairly... Uh, familiar with in terms of just uh, how comfortable I am at playing it but uh, I I am not 100% familiar uh, or remember it very well so I'll do my best and I'll try to point out only the minikits with complete focus on that instead of of course focusing uh, on uh, stud collection and all those other things I love that animation that looks so cool look at that bat boat that looks so awesome I love how it rotates like that that's pretty cool it reminds me of that one transformer depth charge I think his name is he's a pretty cool looking dude as well but nonetheless let's go ahead and read the description for this episode the penguin's special submarine allows him to commit crimes from beneath the waters of Gotham docks he can dive below the surface and sneak up on his enemies and fire torpedoes at them which sounds like quite a menacing thing to do indeed okay so we begin with uh, this, if I could actually do this, that would be awesome. There we go. So uh, once this lighthouse goes on, there's a mini kit that appears right there. But for us, we've got it already, so it's not a mini kit. So uh, I'll definitely try to remember to point out the four mini kits that we've already got, uh, just so that people can kind of uh, have access to those. So there you go. That's how you collect the first one. It's just uh, via jumping, and not too difficult. Pretty simplistic indeed. Okay, the next one is a little bit tougher. It's actually over here. So once you blow up those two little platforms, then you switch to... Uh, goodness gracious, there it is. Someone who can carry this bomb, so one of the larger vehicles. It doesn't have to be the bat boat. It could be uh, any one of the vehicles that can carry the larger bombs. Goodness gracious. And then you start to struggle. And then you start to attempt to hit that thing. Okay, that wasn't supposed to happen, obviously. Okay, please stop shooting at me, things. I'm really trying to do something here. Okay, so let me try to use a larger vehicle. I don't even know if anything but the bat boat can carry this. Huh, okay, I guess nothing but the bat boat can carry this. I didn't even know that. But there you go, once you blow that up, you get yourself another mini kit, which is pretty cool. After that, a uh, bat boat once again comes to the rescue because we need to get rid of this thing in front of us. There we go. Whoops. And get rid of ourselves, apparently, in the process. So let me turn around. And now we need, actually, a diving vehicle. You dive down by, uh, of course, pressing A. And then this is where you get to activate these two little switches. The first time around, you can't do this because, of course, you don't even have uh, an access to a vehicle that can dive. So that's why certain mini kits can only be unlocked via... Uh, accessing them uh, at, a, at a later point in time, i.e. free play. So, after this, we need to set those off by blowing them up. And that will bring down this beautiful vehicle, which looks kind of awesome. I really love the colors on that. Okay, and just blow it on up. Okay, so it, down it goes like the Titanic. And uh, it looks like a subway sandwich for some reason to me. I don't know why. And here's our next mini kit. Come on. There we go. Perfect. All right. That was cool. Failed jumping there. Now, I don't remember if there was a post to take down here. Nope. I think it was on the next map. On the next little uh, area here. Woohoo. Oh, God. Okay, that was a failed attempt. Let's try that again, shall we? Well, this time, of course, trying to actually get across would be nice. Okay, come on. Come on. What the hell are you doing, thing? That thing is, like, trying to bother me on purpose. All right, so yeah, there it is. So you got to take three of those down, which I think we've already done. So just keep that in mind that that gives you another mini kit component. Now, next up, let's see, I guess I could just take this down and switch into the bat boat. This is a, another one of the mini kits that we've had. So that's the third out of the fourth. And the fourth is, of course, the actual uh, little piece uh, that I just showed you. Once you get three of those, you get yourself a mini kit as well. So there you go. 
Once you've grabbed that, we're going to go ahead and hook on to this thingy. And rampage into this. Okay. So, I think that is all as far as this area goes. I am pretty certain, at least. I don't recall if there was anything over here. I don't think so. Okay. I certainly hope so. Again, I am not, I'm just going completely off of uh, what I can remember. And sometimes I obviously don't remember everything. So, we're going to dive. This was an easy one that we saw, but we couldn't access again just because we didn't have the right vehicle uh, in order to access it, which kind of stinks, I would say. Okay. Whoops-a-daisy. Here comes the cavalry. Here comes the backup. Here they come. Get ready for battle. Get ready for war. All right. Got rid of all those suckers. Now, I remember... I think we... I think we blew that thing up. Um, bat boat. Come on, help me. Okay. This is going to be much tougher than I had thought. Yes. There we go. Okay, so you blow that up like so. You just kind of guide it into it. Uh, and then thanks to Killer Croc's vehicle, you could actually go into this green guck. Uh, if you've got the red power brick that allows you to survive that, then you don't have to worry about even that. But since I didn't, uh, as you could see, obviously, right there. So I actually had to do the kind of more difficult, frustrating bit, I guess, um, over here. Okay, so this thing you could also obviously blow up if you wanted to. We don't necessarily need to, so I'm just going to keep going for now. And I certainly hope there wasn't... I don't think there was. Let me just double check one more time to show you guys if there was any... Um, the, the poles that need to be blown. Yep, there was actually. Okay, goodness gracious. There we go. So that's two out of three blown up and taken care of. So now we head onwards and forwards to the next area of this particular challenge. Which is right over here. It's quite an open water area. God... Okay, goodness gracious. These guys are not going to lay off of you, so just get ready for a very, very annoying night. Here we go. Come on, come on, come on, come on. Perfect. Once you blow that up, in Didio, we got ourselves another mini kit, which is flipping awesome. Okay, then in this area, what we're going to do next is just blow that up. Shoot that little green panel, which activates one of the first four lights that you need activated fully. Then we're just going to blow up. There it is. That's the third one. So that was the fourth of the mini kits that we needed. But uh, again, I hope that's making any sense. I, I hope I am. But uh, basically what I'm trying to explain is that there were four mini kits, remember, that we already had when we got into the challenge. And that's basically what I was pointing out to you guys there. So we're done with that. And now we've only got to do one more activation point. Well, it's kind of hard to do when you're getting attacked by explosive penguins. Oh, God. Just lay off me, penguins. Oh, damn you, penguins. I flipping cannot stand these penguins. I love penguins, but I don't love these penguins. I like Happy Feet. That was a good movie. Especially considering it wasn't a Pixar film. Usually those kinds of movies suck. Usually I'm just a Disney Pixar kind of person. But uh, those movies were actually pretty fun. Just like Madagascar. Okay, so now that we've arrived in this zone... And next up, what we need to do is we need the penguin ship right here. Which, obviously, this mission you can't do until you've got the penguin ship. Now that we've done that, we are going to get over here. Dive down below again, as you saw. I mean, this is probably these are probably the two easiest because, I mean, you just see them right away. So, they're very, very simplistic. Now, I think over here, I think we are going to get actually a red power brick instead of a... Instead of a trophy, I mean, not trophy, mini kit. At least that's how I remember it. Am I correct about that? There it is. Nice. Okay, awesome. Very cool indeed. So now we've got ourselves the red power brick, which leaves only one more, of course, mini kit to go. You might be asking yourself, where the heck is that mini kit? Well, from what I remember, which I think I remember correctly, the last one is actually right around the corner here. It's actually a very, very difficult one to get. It took me a couple of tries. Let's hope I can actually score this the first go-round. Uh, come on. Yes, got it. Awesome. That was awesome. Okay, and then you just grab your Killer Crocs submarine vehicle. Not submarine, sorry. Vehicle, and there you go. That's your 10th minikit component right there and then. 
which is pretty awesome. There you have it, guys. So uh, that's how you get all the minikit stuff. Now, by the way, someone pointed out to me that we don't have to take on every single boss fight because all we have to do is just press save and exit. I completely forgot about that. I don't know why we always uh, prolong the um, episodes more than they needed to. And I think that that's going to work better. We got ourselves armor plating, which is awesome because that's obviously uh, going to bulletproof our vehicles and stuff like that, which is great. Got 17,000 studs, which is not too bad, but not too great, let's be honest. And let's see our mini kit. That's what I'm really excited about. Oh, right. Awesome. We got a mini bat boat. That looks cool. Hey, that's so simple. I could actually make that probably in real life with some of the Lego spare Lego pieces that I have laying around. Looks like we're at 990,000 studs, which is pretty gosh darn spectacular. Almost at the 1 million mark. I know I said that last time, but this time we we're literally just a sliver away from that point, which is pretty awesome. So that being said, guys, if you guys enjoyed this episode, please go ahead and leave a like right below the video. Share the video with your family and friends. Favorite the video. Those are all terrific ways to show support for the series and to show that you guys enjoyed this video. And of course, tune in tomorrow to see another episode in the LEGO Batman 100% walkthrough. I'll catch you guys next time. Have a fanfully fantastic day. I hope you guys enjoyed the kind of shorter, more concise format where we just focus on just getting those collectibles, getting them done so that you guys get to be awesome sauce and sauce bosses in order to uh, get all your collectible stuff done and unlock some of your secret stuff and uh, some of the cool unlockables that are available in the game. Because, of course, I'm one of those people who believes if you enjoy the game, you might as well explore all it has to offer. So, again, guys, tune in tomorrow. Thanks all for watching, and I'll catch you guys next time. Have a great day.